Ryan Gromfin here with The Restaurant Boss, and I want to welcome you to one of our new videos here. Today, we're going to talk about something I call the project planner priority list or the project priority planner. Um, I, I refer to it as many different things, but basically what this is, it's a very, very, very simple tool that I created a long time ago to help myself and help clients kind of prioritize all of the different things that they have to do. It's a mathematical prioritization. You fill in the blanks and then it tells you what to work on next. Now, this is just one of the tools in your arsenal. You don't have to follow it. You don't have to do exactly what it says, but I get the question a lot from people. Well, I've got all these different things to do. What should I work on next? What will have the most impact on my business? And so let me share with you sort of a little tool that I use to help with that. And this is available if you are not familiar with us here at The Restaurant Boss. This is available inside of a free toolkit that you can get access to just by joining, or I'm sorry, going to therestaurantboss.com, therestaurantboss.com, and then clicking on a free toolkit or toolkit, whatever it says there um, in our hamburger menu or on our homepage, get the tools free, and you'll be given access to this. And God, I mean, probably 30 or 40 other tools and spreadsheets and things just like it. So inside of this tool, I just came up with three things, uh, a new loyalty program, a new cocktail menu, and creating a server menu test. And then you can put a description of what these are. I didn't bother with that, but a hypothesis of what, what will this do for us? How will this help us? Excuse me. Oh, it's been a very, very busy day here. So... The first thing you're going to want to do is fill out what I call the growth multiplier section. So the growth multiplier, it's a one for a yes and a zero for a no. Will this help you with acquisition? Will it help you with activation, monetization, or retention? If you're not familiar with what these terms are, I have a full video on this. It's called the four growth levers. If you just go to YouTube and Google the or just type in the four growth levers, the restaurant boss, it'll show right up for you. But basically acquisition, and I just realized I spelled acquisition wrong, uh, but acquisition, we'll get that fixed before you get it. Acquisition is the acquiring of new guests. Activation is reactivating a lazy customer. Monetization is getting a current customer to spend more money per visit. And retention is getting your current customers to come back more often. So it's simple, right? What will a loyalty program? Well, a loyalty program might help you acquire new customers or new guests. It will help you activate guests. It will not help with per person spend, but it will help with retention. So one, one, zero, one, that gives you a three. And then again, kind of the same thing for a new cocktail menu or server test. Then the operations multiplier, same idea, you put a one or a zero. A one is, will this help you with execution? Will this help you with speed? Will this help you with your get or your employee or your team member experience? Will this help you with your guest or your customer experience? If the answer is yes, put a one. If the answer is no, put a zero. We get a total. And then the last part here is the implementation factor. This is on a one to 10. This is how... How difficult is this to implement or what effect is this going to have, right? If it's going to have a huge impact, you'd give it a 10. If it's not going to have much impact at all, you'd give it a 1 or a 2. How much confidence do you have in your hypothesis? How confident are you this will work, right? 7, 8, 9, very confident. 1, 2, 3, not so confident. And the ease of implementation, Something like a loyalty program is about a six. Something like a new cocktail menu is about a seven. Something like a server test, it's pretty hard to do. That's like a four, right? It's it's going to take a lot of work. That's not so easy to do. Then once you get all of this, you'll get a weighted average or you'll get an average. Yeah, you'll get the weighted average. And then you'll go ahead and um, reprioritize this just by clicking you highlight all of these here and then you reorder it and you select sort from largest to smallest or smallest to largest however you choose to do it expand your selection and then there you go you will have it in order from what projects you should start on to what projects you should do last 
You'll have this and many other tools for you available at therestaurantboss.com inside of our free toolkit. Hope you have an absolutely amazing day. And remember, systems create freedom, freedom creates value, and value creates scale. Bye-bye. Make It Happen is the book I wish I had when I was operating restaurants. Inside are the lessons that took me 10 years to learn and 10 more years of teaching to perfect. I've condensed the most important lessons into this tiny book for building a big restaurant business. I am on a mission to improve restaurants all over the world. Because of that, I want to send you a free copy. Grab yours today at therestaurantboss.com.